And now, to help introduce tonight's final set of awards, please direct your attention to the screens. Now, before we proceed, allow us to give you a brief history on our next set of awards. The Teacher of the Year program falls under the umbrella of the National Teacher of the Year program, which began in 1952 to focus public attention on excellence in teaching. Here at the district, the competition starts at the campus level, where one teacher is chosen by their peers to represent the school. From among all campus teachers of the year, 10 finalists are chosen, five from the elementary level and five from the secondary level. A one winner is chosen for each level and these two district winners compete for Region 19 Teacher of the Year. Regional winners then advance to the state competition and finally, the Texas winner competes for the title of National Teacher of the Year. I'm not sure you know this or not, but historically, we hold the record for producing state winners. This is part of what makes us the District of Champions. All right, now it's time to introduce our top 10 finalists in alphabetical order and give you a brief glimpse as to why they are the district's best. First, let's begin with our five secondary Teacher of the Year finalist. So please turn your attention to the screens as we feature our first finalist, Ms. Jasmine Estrada from Riverside High School. Make sure that it is folded so that it looks like a book. Hello, my name is Jasmine Estrada. I am the professional communications teacher, uh, speech and debate coach, and theater assistant director here at Riverside High School, and I've been teaching for five years. I started as an English teacher, which I very much enjoyed, but after doing that for a couple of years, I realized that I wanted to do more. I wanted to coach and I wanted to stay after school and to work with kids. And the only way to do that was to switch over to speech. If you've written an essay, you can read, write a speech. I get here at 7.30 in the morning to get my classroom set up, to get copies, to do all of that. After school, from four to six, I have speech and debate practice. Then from six to eight, I have theater practice. Then I go home, I go to sleep, and I do it all over again. I'm exceptionally honored. I'm, I'm ecstatic to, to have this opportunity, to have this platform to discuss um, what happens in my classroom. Because if there's one thing I want kids to walk away from, be it in my speech classes, debate team, in my theater team, I want them to walk away with a sense of pride. I hope that it's highlighted that that I strive to give my kids that sense of pride in what they do and in who they are because every kid deserves that voice. They deserve that chance to feel proud of who they are. Let's hear it again for Miss Estrada from Riverside High School. Next, let's get to know our second finalist, Mr. George Padilla from Bel Air High School.
so the audience feels a little bit closed in. But when you do that, you give her more speaking room and it's more pleasing to the eye for the audience to see that way. Hello, my name is George Padilla. I'm an innovative technology support teacher and audiovisual production teacher at Bel Air High School. So you're creating a vignette, either a bright one or a dark one. I've been teaching for 15 years. And why did I decide to become a teacher? I was influenced greatly by my mother. She was a teacher with Isleta and she retired with Isleta. And um, she was so influential in her, in her work ethic and her creativity and her passion for teaching. So much so that both my sister and I have become teachers. The XLR cables are in the lid of the bag. When you get to work and the students are looking to you to learn, but not only learn, there, there's a dynamic in the classroom between a teacher and a student. You can't rec recreate that in a lot of professions. So we're very lucky as teachers to experience that, that dynamic of a classroom full of students and, and, and you're teaching them, you're leading them. Congratulations to Mr. Padilla from Bel Air High School. <laughs> you gotta catch it on the live stream, right? <laughs> One more time for Mr. Padilla. And now let's watch this next vignette featuring our third finalist, Ms. Jessica Pussman from Desert View Middle School. Hi, how are you, Daniela? Good, and you? I'm good, honey. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hello, my name is Jessica Pussman. I teach eighth grade math and algebra at Desert View Middle School. All right, you're gonna place that algebra word in the middle of your paper like it is up here. My students are, are my number one. I tell them every day, you all are the reason I come to work. I feel like I'm on vacation when I'm at work. I was born to teach. It doesn't feel like a job to me. I love it. That passion was ignited in 2000. I was 21 years old. 21 years old with my first classroom. And I knew then I wanted to teach. I still want to. My husband is also a teacher here at Desert View Middle School. Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. He teaches art. He's awesome. He's a wonderful teacher. And just being around people with that same philosophy, it can only bring out the best in you and the best in students. I think that that's what Desert View stands for, is building a sense of community around our students. Let's hear it again for Miss Pussman from Desert View Middle School. One more round of applause. She deserves it. Give her another round of applause. Hey. Well, if you look at some of these videos, it takes you back. All those. <laughs> Getting a little emotional here, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. These are great videos. Our fourth finalist for Secondary Teacher of the Year is. Mr. Casey Renhill from J.M. Hanks High School. I'm going to bring her knee up to 90, right here. 90 degrees of flexion. Hello, my name is Casey Rangel, and I am the head athletic trainer at J.M. Hanks High School. Yeah. There we go, good. This is actually my sixth year in education. Uh, as the athletic trainer on campus, I'm charged with the responsibility of uh, prevention, rehabilitation, uh, diagnosis and evaluation of athletic injuries. Uh, in my content area of sports medicine, I'm teaching students on a daily basis um, general orthopedic anatomy, emergency response skills. Uh, there you go. 
that's a good posterior. For anterior, we are setting up for games, whether it be soccer, softball, basketball, tennis, gymnastics, whatever the sport may be, um, it's our prime responsibility to be there and provide uh, emergency coverage and uh, medical assistance for all sports here on, on campus. Athletic training is my passion. Being able to do that through my means, which is athletic training and sports medicine, is an honor and a pleasure. And having the ability to do that every single day, um, what more can you ask for? Another round of applause for Mr. Rangel from J.M. Hanks High School. And our last finalist is from Parkland Middle School. Please watch the screens as we feature Miss Michelle Marie Sandoval. What's up, Rico? Hello. Hello, my name is Michelle Sandoval and I teach at Parkland Middle School. I'm an eighth grade math teacher. This is my second year teaching. I actually grew up in this neighborhood and so this is my 11th year teaching. I went to Parkland Elementary, Parkland Middle School, and Parkland High School. Teaching is something that I've always wanted to do and it came along very young and it never left me. This is actually my first grade teacher. She, her name is Mrs. Chavez. She teaches currently at Parkland Elementary. I actually told my first grade teacher, Mrs. Chavez, on the last day of school that I was going to come back and take her job. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Michelle, 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 how are you? Good. I actually got my passion from her. Every part of teaching in my bone comes from inspiration and the drive and the fire that she ignited into me. So I'm incredibly honored and today because I actually dedicate my top five secondary teacher of the year all to Mrs. Chavez and not only to my parents, but a big part of it is from her. Congratulations again to Miss Michelle Marie Sandoval from Parkland Middle School. Let's give her one more round of applause because we are approaching another big moment here. Now can I get the, will the remaining finalists please return to the stage. Make your way back up this way. You know, as a cohort, of the PACA program, which is our uh, Principals Academy with Region 19, I have noticed and have began to feel the weight of our administrators. And I just want to pause for a moment to recognize our administrators all over the building. Assistant principals, principals, superintendent, board members, these leaders do a lot of work and they deserve a round of applause. Okay, so it looks like we have our five finalists on the stage, and now it's time to announce the district's new Secondary Teacher of the Year. Ellen, I believe it is your turn to do the honors. It is my turn and a distinct honor. Yeah, let's get that drum roll again. So thank you, Denise. And now, it is my pleasure to announce that the 2019 2020 Secondary Teacher of the Year for the Isleta Independent School District is... Michelle Marie Sandoval, Parkland Middle School! Oh yes! That makes you want to sing. 
Congratulations. Miss <laughs> Sandoval says her enthusiasm for education is still as present as the day she stepped inside the energetic and loving classroom of her first grade class. Miss Sandoval said her teacher was the ultimate example of an educator and true role model. And it inspired her to become a teacher so she could touch the lives of so many young minds. Miss Sandoval earned her bachelor's degree from UTEP and she has worked as an educator for 10 years. She also serves as a coach and student council sponsor and always greets her students with a fist bump and high five to get their class time started every day. Another thunderous round of applause for Miss Sandoval. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's super exciting. I always, be, I'm prepared. So first of all, I just want to congratulate the four other top secondary teachers of the year. We were out in the back and we were laughing, having fun, and they're very amazing people. So another round of applause for them. So I would like to, first of all, I'd like to take this time to thank all of you that are in this room. Each and every one of you are either educators, administrators, or support staff. And I'm very humbled and honored to have received, the, received this tremendous honor amongst all of you. Teaching is such a selfless career where all of us in the room give so much of our heart and our passion every single day in our beautiful, beautiful city. I stand here today as a proud product of the district, and I'm a proud alumni from Parkland. Matador is in the house. So when I was first nominated, not only was I honored, but I was extremely excited. I grew up in this neighborhood in the 79924 zip code, and I'm proud to be teaching in my alma mater. Yes, I hear a clap over there. Teaching is a field where we don't do it for the paycheck and we definitely don't do it for the white hairs that I've hid so carefully under here. I am hiding a lot of white hairs and a lot of stress and a lot of loss of sleep, but we teach because teaching runs in our veins and we all want to inspire. We strive to inspire one student at a time and if we've reached one student, then we've done our job. I truly believe that this district provides us opportunities. I myself was an Isleta Education Foundation recipient and that gave me the opportunity, yes. That gave me the opportunity to be a first generation college student. So picks up, minors in the house. So YISD inspires, provides opportunities, teaches how to overcome triumph and adversity and creates leaders for the future. We here at YASD are the future every single day, so I couldn't be more proud than to be a part of this district. With that being said, I would like to thank Dr. De La Torre, the Board of Trustees, and the staff at YASD for always making the best decisions and innovative upgrades to our facilities and our plans year to year. Thank you to Mr. Salgado, Mr. Ellsworth, Mr. Bowles, and Mrs. Sizemore, my admin, who always support my giddiness, my dancing, my music, and who took a chance on me coming from elementary teaching for nine years. They always have my back and they always would. My father always taught me that you learn to follow before you lead, and my amazing leaders at my campus are that. So tonight, I honestly wish that I could split this award with each and every one of you in my heart. Honestly, all of you are winners. We have the hardest and most rewarding job on the planet. So I'd like to take a moment to dedicate this to a couple of people. As you saw in the video, I dedicate this evening to uh, my first grade teacher, Mrs. Chavez. Without her contagious smile and love of learning, I wouldn't be standing here today. Mrs. Chavez still teaches first grade at Parkland Elementary. Now that's what I call dedication and that's simply what we do. So Mrs. Chavez, I thank you for igniting a fire in me and creating a passion to teach. 
I also want to dedicate this to Dr. Angela Reyna, who is now an Isleta Indian, for teaching me that women can be kick butt leaders and the relationships among even the most troubled students is important. Your leadership taught me that leaders can be fun and accountable every day in our schools, so thank you. I dedicate this to my first mentor, Mrs. Leva, who is here tonight in the back table, for being my work mom for the first years of my teaching. You taught me that every day isn't easy, and it's okay to feel defeated, and to get knocked down, you get up 10 more times, so thank you. I dedicate this to my fiance, Eddie, for always being there after the hardest days, but also celebrating my triumphs. I love you very much. <laughs> Lastly, and most importantly, which I'm gonna try to get through this, I dedicate this to my parents. My mother is my rock, who is back there. <laughs> Every single day, she supported me and pushed me to be the best daughter, student, but most importantly, teacher. I thank her for everything that she's taught me and instilled in me for the educator that I am today. My father, I also celebrate this for, who I lost seven years ago. So honestly, tonight's for him. I love you and miss you every day. So. Let's end with a celebration. My last note to all of you is to teach with kindness and to teach your students to be kind. In a world of chaos, we are creating human beings first and molding them for the future. I'm so proud to go and represent all of you and represent YASD, and thank you for this momentous honor. Thank you. Give her one more round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to feature our five finalists for Elementary Teacher of the Year. Once again, please turn your attention to the screens for a video on, your, on our first finalist, Miss Veronica Aguirre from Dolphin Terrace Elementary School. Tell me, the first one was? My name is Veronica Aguirre. I am a fourth grade monolingual teacher at Dolphin Terrace. I have been teaching um, for 13 years. I always put the students first, you know, um, I'm here, I'm usually here very early and, you know, I usually stay here late. They always tell me, you know, Miss Aguirre, you're, you know, you go home, you know, it's late, you know. Um, there's always just one more thing to do. I believe in empowerment. You know, I believe in, in instilling that empowerment in my students. And as a teacher, I think that is one thing that, that we want to instill in our students to feel that empowerment so that they are able to, to make a change, to have that voice, to have that curiosity, to have that drive to succeed in life. Not only are you going to teach them their academics, what they need to learn, but you want to teach them that character and that, that belief in themselves, that, that empowerment to, to, to make a change in the world, to, to do something, to become better humans. Congratulations to Ms. Aguirre from Dolphin Terrace Elementary School. And now this next video is on our second finalist, Mr. Fernando Arriaga from Ramona Elementary School. Play ball! Hi, my name is Fernando Arriaga and I teach physical education at Ramona Elementary. All right, eyes on ball, ready? Batter, batter. It's a great honor, it's a great privilege uh, to be surrounded by just beautiful people. You know, I don't, uh, I don't teach as a career, I teach 
for a living. This is a way of life for me. Kids, again, they don't, uh, they don't remember the, the money you spend on them. They remember the time you spent with them. So for us, it's important to understand that uh, every minute, every second counts. So when you're out here with the kids, we're out here with the teachers and parents, you form a sense of community and family involvement. And when we do that, okay, only great things can come out of that. Go Ramona! And being a physical education teacher is, uh, is a way of life for me. So it always came naturally. So for me, it was, it was the right choice. And I stuck with that choice and ever since, been doing it. And I got fortunate to be at this Lovely school. One, two, three, one, two, three. Red! You know, you keep pushing, you keep finding, you'll eventually unlock that potential and you'll find your genius. And my genius is doing this. This is what I love to do, and this is what I'm passionate about, and this is what I'm really good at doing. I, I love it. Let's hear it again for Mr. Ariaga from Ramona Elementary School. I think I stole a couple of his dance moves. Watch out. What's up? <laughs> and now, let's watch a video featuring our third finalist, Miss Gaylin Caribello from East Point Elementary School. Hi, Mama. How are you, baby? I'm yes? Okay. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Galen Caraveo from East Point Elementary. I'm the special education teacher at East Point Elementary, supporting our whole school. I'm on my eighth year of teaching. I, my first three years were at a private school. I taught kindergarten. And then I went into um, third grade teaching, and I swore I would never, I was never going to be a special ed teacher. I was like, no, I, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. I finally decided after three years of being in the gen ed classroom that it was time to go into special education. I, I really found my calling, like, I know that I'm where I'm supposed to be is helping with um, supporting our special education students. Every day is something new. I'm very lucky because I get to go all over the school so I get to meet so many of the kids. I was a gen ed teacher for three years and you're in your class and those become your family. But I feel that now that I'm like I, the support teacher for the school, I feel my family got bigger. And I'm very, very blessed. One more time for Ms. Caraveo from East Point Elementary School. And next, let's get to know our fourth finalist, Ms. Laura Fonte from Glen Cove Elementary School. Let's go ahead and start reading. I was standing on the blacktop. Hello, my name is Laura Fonte, and I am a fourth grade monolingual teacher at Glen Cove Elementary School. At the very end, it's every day when when I come to school, it's not work. This is something that I, I love to do. I feel that the trust that the parents and, and our community put on me is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's not something that I take lightly. I 100% care for them, not just about their academics, but about how they are socially and emotionally. And to see them grow in multiple ways is the biggest honor of, of my life. Hi, Mama. Hi. Not only is it a dream to be a teacher here at Glen Cove, but to work down the hallway from my mom is just absolute bliss. She's my best friend, and she has taught me more than I could ever put into words. It feels that here at Isleta, with the support that we get, I feel that I'm able to be the best teacher that, that I can be. 
Congratulations to Ms. Fonte from Glen Cove Elementary School. Another warm round of applause for Miss Fonte, please. And now we'd like to present our fifth finalist for the Elementary Teacher of the Year, Miss Lisa Martinez Medina from Pebble Hills Elementary School. Okay, surgeons begin. I am. Lisa Medina. I am a third grade monolingual teacher. I've been at Pebble Hills for 21 years as a teacher or an intern. My first year was a sixth grade intern. I spent the entire year with the kids. They were, they were fabulous. I learned so much from my mentor teacher. I went up to fourth grade for a good 15 years and I've been in third grade the rest of the year. So the face of teaching is changing. What, what teachers are going to have to be able to do is very different. We're teaching kids whose jobs, they're gonna have jobs that haven't been invented yet. And it's important to, to adapt and to change. You just can't do the same thing just because you did it five years ago, three years ago, or last year. Times are changing. Are you good? It's a great school. Great, great school, great kids, great parents, awesome community, lots of support. But remember, it can be called different names. I like to come to work and have fun. So lots of stories lots of funny things. I like to keep it fun, I like to have fun, and I think that's, that's a big part of it. Let's hear it again for Miss Martinez Medina from Pebble Hills Elementary. I think she has the loudest crowd tonight. Another round, another round! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, another big moment is upon us. Will the remaining finalists please return to the stage? While they're getting in place, may I just mention this I would be remiss if I didn't but we are so honored to have with us on tonight one of KVIA's former anchor and reporter Denise Olivas thank you thank you so much I'm so honored to be here I'm not sure if you noticed this but she is expecting they are expecting their second daughter and isn't she just radiant tonight and we just thank you ma'am for you. gracing us with your presence Thank you. For now, I can still have a few more months to go. I can still breathe. I'm okay. No swollen feet just yet, but we'll, well get really, there. Well, really, don't <laughs> really breathe. <laughs> All right. I'm so honored to be here again. I'm a former Riverside Ranger and a proud product of YISD from Thomas Manor to Riverside Middle to Riverside High School. I'm always representing my school, and I couldn't be prouder to be part of the Lower Valley. All right. Now, let's get to the... The moment it's, we're waiting for. It's time to announce the district's new elementary teacher of the year, Denise. I believe it's your turn. Good All luck right. to our finalists. Let's get that drum roll going.
Mr. Arriaga's students would likely describe him as a strict teacher with high expectations, but they're also the biggest fans of his high energy PE and health classes. This is because Mr. Arriaga has managed to successfully combine his love of martial arts, physical education, and teaching during his 11 years at YISD, and 25 years as a martial arts instructor. He credits his success to an inspirational army veteran who taught him martial arts as a child and young man. Mr. Arriaga described his former teacher as a, quote, influential man who lives every day as if it's his last. Mr. Arriaga also earned his bachelor's degree from UTEP. Let's give him another round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our winner, Mr. Fernando Arriaga from Ramona Elementary School to the podium to share a few words. Oh God, I got up. I decided to take two Coronas before I got up here and I got to use the restroom, but uh, man, oh God. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, this is the best district in the nation, bar none. Um, you know, I, I work with, uh, with wonderful people every single day, and uh, I'm very fortunate. And it uh, starts off with, uh, you know, God. God put me in this position first. And just let you know, any one of those candidates could have been Teacher of the Year. They're all deserving, so let's give them a round of applause also because they deserve all those accolades as well. Um, Mom? Yeah. It's, it's not for my mom. I'm not here. She, uh, she made me. She would. She, she brought this right here. And uh, I love you, Mom. I love you for everything you've done, all the time you spent, all the headaches you've had, uh, you know, raising me and uh, two other crazy brothers uh, that I have. But uh, very fortunate to have my mom here. My dad, unfortunately, can't be here. He's in Galveston working, but I, I love you, Dad. Right, thank you for supporting me and for being there for me. I have a lot of people to thank. Uh, my martial arts instructor, he's the one that started me when I was six years old. Um, got bullied a lot when I was a kid. Um, um, didn't, didn't have an identity. Didn't know who, you know, what kind of person I was going to be. And uh, this man brought me under his wing and uh, created the person I am today. So everything that I do is really a reflection of what he's instilled in me for years and years and years. So. The gratitude, all this passion that I have is, is because of people. You can't do things by yourself. People are always there for you to help you, to guide you, to push you along the way. And uh, I'm, I'm very uh, fortunate in that matter. Ms. Medlin, the best principal in the world, is in the house over there from elementary. Without your support, I, I would not be here. You and Ms. Solis, the other best principal in the whole district right there. Uh, love you all. Thank you for um, giving me the chance to, to do everything I can at the school. Uh, just let you know, I've tried to install boxing in my school, and she was as close to saying yes. So that, that's how great I have it. But uh, they're, they're just wonderful people. Supportive administrators make the world, make the difference. And I'm very fortunate to be in that light. My wife is right here. She's taking video of me right now. Um, I got... Three beautiful daughters because of this lovely woman here. Twins, which are two years old, and uh, a six-year-old that's, that's watching right now. And uh, she asked me, Dad, Daddy, you know, are, are you going to win, Daddy? And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Man, I'm a... <laughs> Like, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to try my best and uh, stay positive and stay optimistic. And uh, uh, she's got high hopes for me. And this is for you, Bella. Thank you. 
<clears throat> you know, you know, it's um, I, I tell my students all the time. You know, it's um, when they fall down, they have a cut or they get hurt, in, in a minor way, you know, don't use your tears for minor injuries. You know, if you ever cry, make sure you cry when you're at your happiest. And uh, right now, I'm at my happiest, and I'm very supportive. I'm very happy. I'm very proud. And I want to mention two people too that helped me out during this road. Mr. Solis is sitting right here in front of us. And the beautiful Mrs. Love, which is here somewhere. Mrs. Love is around here somewhere as well. Right here. Their, uh, their, their support. Um, I watch your videos like 10 times, just to let you know. And uh, each time I learn something a little different about both of you and the journey that it took for you all to get to this point. And I hope I uh, may I get close, this close to even filling your shoes. And, uh, doing what you all did, but uh, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, and I appreciate your time and effort. And, uh, uh, one last thing, um, everybody that's here, everybody that's representing their own school, your, your principals, your uh, administrators, your, uh, um, your counselors, the teachers that you work with, you know what, we, we gotta appreciate life every single day. Uh, live like it's your last. Yeah, you never know when you know, you're not gonna be here again, but uh, uh, we're here for a reason, and uh, as educators, we have a big goal, a big responsibility. So let's take that responsibility and let's do the best with it. Uh, I, I love teaching. Teaching for me is a way of life. It's always been like that, and uh, it was instilled by people ahead of me, by the people that are guiding me and encouraging me every single day. But I encourage you also to have that same motivation. And when you go back to your kids, make sure you always give them a good night kiss before you go to sleep. Uh, you know, say, say I love you, uh, because, you know, these, these life is very short, and uh, we got to appreciate every single minute, but uh, thank you so much for this reward, I'm very appreciative. I was afraid I was going to fall on these things right now earlier. Coach Arriaga, will you return really quick? You forgot your pin. You forgot your pin. <laughs> All right. Everyone wipe the tears away. I was kind of tearing up back there too. Well, congratulations to all of our winners. Uh, before we leave, let's just give one more round of applause for all these amazing winners, all the amazing educators, administration, support employees here at YISD. Once again, congratulations to all of our winners tonight. It has been an absolute honor to be here to celebrate your work at our schools every day. We are all part of the El Paso community, and we are grateful for the persistence, press, passion, presence, and love of learning you've passed on to your students. And ladies and gentlemen, it was also my pleasure to serve as your co-MC tonight. You are the driving force in the lives of all students at Isleta Independent School District. Don't forget that, and as a proud Riverside Ranger, I thank you for all you do to guide, prepare, and educate the next generation of leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a wonderful audience. We bid you Godspeed, drive safely, and have a great night. Give yourselves a round of applause.